cusp is on the way to green country. That's right. Our two news chief meteorologist Brett Anthony telling us just how long this warm up is going to last. Brett. Hey, Karen and Russ, it should last through the weekend, but I would get in line early for the car washes by the end of the week because you know a lot of folks have to wash some of the salt and sand and grime off of our cars once again. When it snows, we always get a lot of pictures into the Weather Center, and we had a lot of them rolling in here. For instance, look at this beautiful picture from Evelyn Alsop, Evan Skyatuk. The sun rising said it was seven degrees when she took that picture, but still, oh, so pretty. Fran, Fran Emerson took this picture at Ulaga Lake as the sun was rising this morning on that fresh fallen snowpack. Very nice. Here's an interesting formation from Johnny Kearns down at Fort Gibson. It's almost like the snow kind of piled up in chunks there. Of course, there's probably a good piece of sleet and a lot of sleet in there. And so when he shoveled that, it came off almost like in bricks instead of nice, uh, a nice layer of snow. And then look at this picture here that that Reese Morrell sent in. Summer is back. 32 ounce fountain drinks, only 79 cents. I wish fountain, or summer was back, but yeah, you can still get the fountain drinks, right? All right, interesting visible satellite picture here to show you because it really tells the story of what went on yesterday. See these streaks, these lines? Those are the sleet streaks. So each time we had one of those thunder sleet snow kind of storms come across, it dumped down these little thin strips of sleet all across the area. And then what you see here is the heaviest snow north from Tulsa North right up through southern Kansas. And so there's Ulaga Lake. Here's Grand Lake out here to the east. And so the snow did, of course, didn't stick on top of the lake. So the satellite picture kind of shows the outline of the lakes there with all that snow around it. And that is just one cool picture. All right. So when does spring arrive? Well, on the calendar it says 17 days. It might take a little bit longer for us to really start to feel some spring like weather. As the weather pattern cycles, we should have more shots of colder air even into the middle part of April. And of course, in a few weeks, we'll be talking about that. All right, Jinx. From our West Intermediate School, looking over toward the elementary school, it looks uh, clear but cold. Beautiful sunset about to occur at Muskogee and down in McAllister. Looks like some high to mid-level clouds down there keeping temperatures in the teens. From our Brookside camera, a lot of snow. The streets, though, look like they're at least clear. Peoria looks pretty good looking northward here as a lot of folks kind of come up and down. 19 degrees northeast winds at 7 miles an hour. Dew point at 1. It is very dry. A lot of static electricity in the houses tonight. 16 and prior 22 Muskogee, 23 right now at Okima. As we take a look around the Midwest, we've got high pressure out to our east, warming air here in the Rockies. And guess what? That's where the warming trend comes from. The winds will be out of the south. We'll have a flow aloft out of the west, and that'll start to bring in the warmer air. And we'll also see quite a few high clouds in that time being. But it looks like we are just going to see the fall begin here, and we should get rid of most of the snow by the end of the week. There might be a few more snowflakes possibly here Wednesday. Watch this on Powercast. Put it into motion. We're clear tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. That's strong March sunshine, so a lot of snow will melt. Then look at this little strip of light rain from Okima, Okmulgee, Bristow, Tulsa, Bartlesville to Coffeeville. You get a little farther north, and it mixes with some wet snow. So Wednesday afternoon, we may have a little rain mixing with some wet snowflakes. No accumulation with that. The precipitation amounts are coming out to be less than a tenth of an inch and the temperature should be about 40 degrees when that's happening. Yes, it can snow when the temperature is above freezing. All right, forecast this evening, a quick drop down to 13, then overnight down to seven, zero near zero in some spots up here around Bartlesville to Independence, closer to the Kansas border. McAllister 14 tonight, Muskogee 11, Tahlequah 11, 16 at Okmulgee. 38 tomorrow, melting snow with lots of sunshine. Might be as warm as 45 at McAllister. And Poto at 44, Grove at 39 tomorrow, Independence, Kansas right around 30. 40 on Wednesday with a little rain snow mix possible by the afternoon. 53 on Thursday and Friday, 65 degrees. There's also a chance of rain Saturday with a cold north wind. Then 54 on Sunday, 62 Monday. And as we look ahead to severe weather the next seven days, we are all clear, all green. It looks pretty good the next seven days with that warming trend. All right. Thank you, Brett.